Hey, what's up? How you doing? Hola, bonjour. What's cracking lacking? <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and I am so happy that you're here. As you can see by the title of the video, I will be cash stuffing my sinking funds from my August side hustle income. So excited. We're going to go ahead and get started, but we are going to first recognize that the nail polish chipped off my nail. We will just have to deal with this for this video. I apologize for the ratchetness, but it is what it is. I honestly would go to the nail salon with Lauren to get my nails done, but the way she's set up, the way her energy is set up, it's not giving nail salon vibes. When you're at the nail salon, you're supposed to be chilling, relaxing, quiet, and she's the opposite. So I apologize again for the chipped nail, but we're just going to keep it pushing. But before I get started into the video, I just want to say, hey. Hey. If you're new, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join our fam. We are always lit over here and it's free. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump on in. So before I get into the cash stuffing, I wanted to quickly break down my budget from my August side hustle income. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you to all of you who support my shop, who support my YouTube channel, who support my Instagram, who support me in my entirety. <laughs> because this income wouldn't be possible without all of you. I am continuously grateful and blessed and continuously humbled by your support because it's just an amazing feeling to know that people who you've never met support you and love you and I just I can't describe the feeling sometimes but just thank you so 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 much so let's just quickly break this down for August, I had three sources of income. First is TaylorBudgets.com. I brought in a total of $13,315. What? Oh my gosh, y'all. So grateful. So, so, so grateful. That is, of course, from my August cash wallet launch. I launched initially on August 5th, and y'all showed up and showed out. So I'm so grateful. YouTube, I earned $2,405, which I'm so grateful for because I beat myself up every day for not being as consistent as I used to be on YouTube. I try my best and you guys are still showing out and supporting me, so I am just so grateful. I would say for the past five or six months, my YouTube income has been around $21 to $2,500 a month. I can conclude that it's probably a sweet spot and I am okay with that sweet spot because it's a good sweet spot. <laughs> anyway, thank you all again so much for the support on the tube. And Instagram, y'all. Your girl is now making money from her Instagram reels and I am so happy about that. So for the month of August or I believe for the month of July maybe, I made $126 off of my Instagram Reels. If you do not follow your girl on Instagram, please follow me. It's lit over there. I post a lot of one-minute videos. They're called Reels on Instagram. When I do remember to post them on YouTube, they are called Shorts. So they're just quick one-minute motivational cash stuffing or cash unstuffing or budgeting videos. I also post a lot of budget tips. And I post a lot of like random transparent day in the life content on my stories so if you want to be nosy and want to know what i'm doing throughout the day with lauren bear you can follow me on instagram so those are my three sources of income for august and it totals out to fifteen thousand eight hundred and forty six dollars y'all that is just it's crazy but 
Unfortunately, your girl does not get to keep all of it. So let's go ahead and jump on into these expenses. First, I have my tithes. I am happy to give that away <laughs> to my church. It is 10% of my total income, which was $1,585. And then we move on to the ratchet taxes. For taylorbudgets.com, I put away 30% of taxes. So that is $3,995. <laughs> and then my YouTube taxes, I take out 24% and that was $722. I did not take out any taxes for Instagram because I didn't see a need to do that. So we're just going to move on to my maintenance fee, which is $30 a month. And that is what comes out of my business checking account the last day of every month. Then I have my Cricut membership, which is $10 a month. Shipping, who ratchet shipping, man. So the, <laughs> this is the amount that it cost to ship out all of the orders. So $2,767. I honestly wish shipping was free for all of you. And it also didn't cost me anything. I just wish shipping was free all around. You know what I'm saying? Like, why? Why do we need to pay for shipping? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it ah, but anyway supplies that I purchased for not only all of the orders but for anything I needed for my business $405 I put $35 towards my business credit card miscellaneous spending was $22 honestly I can't remember what I spent it on I looked at my bank statement and I still didn't understand what I spent it on but it's okay it's $22 so I paid my brother $200 he did so much work for me when it came down to launching the wallet, so I am so appreciative of him. Even though sometimes he can get a little lazy, he showed up for me, and I appreciate him. When I sent him this $200, he was like, yo, T, if you need any help, let your boy know. I was like, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> anyway, he's like almost 14, so I understand like not wanting to do anything. So, anyway. Other miscellaneous spending was $100. Honestly, y'all, if I could remember what I spent this $100 on, I would tell you. But I looked at my bank statement and I just couldn't figure it out. 100% transparency. I'm pretty sure it went towards my business, but I just can't recognize like the name on the statement. So it is what it is. Last but not least is birthday, and this was for my best friend's birthday, which was August 28th. I spent $125 on her, and the reason why it came out of my business checking account is because it was going to come out of my business income anyway. I was going to stuff $125 into my birthday sinking fund from the money I received from my August side hustle income. And because I hadn't had the time to stuff my sinking funds before her birthday came around, I said I might as well take it out of my business checking account because that's where it's coming from anyway. So I jotted that down as a business expense because I really want to show y'all how I spend my business income because I like to tell y'all what I do with my money. <laughs> so the total amount of expenses was 9000 nine hundred and ninety six dollars almost a thousand dollars if I subtract that amount from the fifteen thousand eight forty six I have five thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars remaining and this goes to show you like of course I'm pretty sure y'all know that you don't keep a hundred percent of your business income but <laughs> like for real y'all you don't keep like even 50% of it sometimes because you have to invest back into your business that's what keeps the business going so next we're going to move on to what I kept in my business account that was $850 $850 was the total so if I subtract $850 from the $5,850 I had remaining I now have $5,000 remaining so what did I do with that $5,000? I put it towards my sinking funds and my savings challenges. I put $1,652 into my sinking funds and $2,000 into my savings challenges. If I add up these two numbers, the total is $3,652. Okay, I totally forgot to add an expense 
to the plan and I apologize because I do not want to confuse y'all so to make up the 5,000 I totally forgot that I put $1,348 towards my car principal I can't believe I forgot that okay so <laughs> I'm so sorry y'all. So let's add up these three numbers just to show y'all that it equals 5,000. So from the 5,000 I had remaining, I put 1652 towards my sinking funds, 2,000 towards my savings challenges, and 1348 towards my car principal. Okay. So that is what it is. Okay. So happy that I remember that because I was about to be so confused. But now that we have budgeted my side hustle income, let's go ahead and cash stuff some sinking funds. Okay, so before I cash stuff, y'all already know that I have to count the money first. Just a quick note. I should have $1,600 here even though I budgeted $16.52 for my sinking funds. The reason why $52 is missing here is because last Sunday, Lauren and I, we went to SeaWorld, and because I had not filmed this video yet, I went into the bank envelope and took out the $52 that was supposed to go into fund money and just put it into the envelope so that we can spend it at SeaWorld. So when I get to this envelope, I will show you what we spent, how much money is left, etc. So $52 is missing from here, but it's in here. So I just wanted to quickly mention that, like I said, it should be $1,600 here. So let's go ahead and count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred. Fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five, fifty six hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty two hundred. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. Those are the crustiest tens I've ever come across. And two fives, four ten. For sixteen hundred dollars. So let's go ahead and start with my high priority slash adulting sinking funds. And here is my high priority slash adulting sinking funds binder. This can be found on taylorbudgets.com. I'm filming this video on the 22nd, so tomorrow the shop will be open. All physical products will be in stock, including this A6 binder, the dashboards, the envelopes, the wallets, all that. The savings challenge books, all of it will be in stock. So we're going to get started with not three to six month expenses that has three thousand four twenty two and two cents in there but we're going to start with car maintenance it's receiving forty dollars so two twenties and let's go ahead and see how much is in here now we have one Two, three, four, four fifty, four seventy, four ninety, and five hundred dollars. Y'all, yeah, five hundred dollars in car maintenance. I think that's the most I've ever had in car maintenance, which is crazy. I wouldn't say that was like my car maintenance sinking fund goal, but I would say that that's a pretty good goal. So I think I'm just gonna keep it at that. Like my mind is like keep adding on to a tailor because you never know like when you need four new tires that cost six hundred dollars or whatever the case may be so honestly that's 500 is a great goal for car maintenance but i think i'm just going to keep on going emergency fund is fully funded it's fully funded at three thousand but because it's in my high yield savings account every month interest is added to that balance 
So as of August 31st, it was $3,017.97, which is awesome. Health is receiving $100. That's going to be a one hundo. And at the end of November, I have to get a cavity filled, and that is like $538. So I have 1, 2, 3, 3, 10, 3, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. 319 dollars. So we gotta we gotta pick this up. 319. Investments is receiving $50. That's gonna be a $50 bill. And we're going to see how much investments has. I soon need to do a cash unstuffing so I can put all of this, whatever is real money in here, it needs to go into my investment portfolio. So I now have 5, 6, 7, 800, 900, 920, 930, 935, 940, and 941 invested. Awesome! Almost to 1,000. Lauren's college fund is next, but it only gets stuffed with my bi-weekly paychecks. But right now in Lauren's college fund is $5,567.66, y'all. It's going crazy. Lauren's dance is receiving $115. That's going to be two fifties, a 10, and a 5. Her dance tuition is $137 a month. So 50, 100, 110, 115. Her dad sends me $80 extra a month for her dance class. So I only need to contribute 57 a month, which is, which is completely amazing. But I just added extra, you know, for the next month after that. Why not? So that is Lauren's dance, 115. Lauren's school is receiving $50. That's going to be a $50 bill. She is not in school right now. She will probably be in school January of 2023. But since daycare or learning center, whatever you want to call it, is completely and so understandably expensive, <laughs> I want to save up for it slowly. <laughs> So that's $50 to start for Lauren's school. My savings is receiving $20. It's going to be a $20 bill. And there's already a $20 in there. So now it's $40. Y'all, this past week, it has been extremely overwhelming for me. Just like the thought of the added finances coming up in my life, I, I got so overwhelmed at one point this week I was like oh my gosh like I started doubting myself to the point where I was like Lord I do not want my expenses to exceed my income because that's just a point I never want to get at but at the end of the year I want to purchase a home and y'all know I only pay 300 a month for rent right now because I live with family but that's going to like quadruple you know what I'm saying like <laughs> And then I have Lauren's dance and I have Lauren's school and I still have all of my regular bills and now I have to pay for car insurance and I like it's starting to get to me like I was I was just completely stressed out because adulting kind of like hit me like bam I was like whoa okay we're getting to it Taylor we're getting to it so I just ask for your prayers when it just comes to my peace and like knowing that God has everything in control, there's no reason to stress out about it because he is in control. So I just need to like chill out, relax, and know that everything's going to be okay. But expenses be expensive, okay? They be expensive. <laughs> One month ahead is receiving $20. That's another $20 bill. And just like my savings, it has 20 already in there, so now it's 40 Alrighty, next is our home. Our home is receiving $100, so that's going to be a $100 bill. 
and I kind of made up the decision that um, kind of made up the decision or kind of made the decision Taylor I made the decision that my 2022 savings challenges like all of that is going towards my new home I'm thinking it's probably just gonna go towards the down payment part so that's gonna be like over seventeen thousand dollars or probably over eighteen thousand dollars right so that's going to go towards my down payment, but I'm thinking that the money in our home is going to go towards like furniture and dishes and cleaning supplies. I already have like bedroom furniture for Lauren and I's room, but uh, you know, like a couch, a dining room table, just things that you need <laughs> to live. <laughs> so um, yeah, I kind of decided that's what this envelope is going to go towards. So I now have... Wait, let me bring out my calculator because y'all know how I am. One, two, three, four thousand, forty five hundred, forty six, forty seven hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, seventy five, seventy six. Four thousand seven hundred and seventy six dollars. So I'm definitely going to get to five thousand by the end of the year. So that is amazing, y'all. I'm really nervous to purchase a home. I've been looking at YouTube videos. There's this um, one woman. I'm going to put her up on the screen because I can't remember her name. But she has a lot of great advice for first-time home buyers. I've been watching a ton of her videos. So basically, here's my situation and why I am nervous to purchase a home like right now. It's because of my self-employment income. So she mentioned that if you are new to self-employment like I am, it's this is like the second year, then what's going to happen is they are going to look at your year-to-date income from your business. So if my business did great in 2022, which it has been, she said that it's best to apply for a home right at the beginning of 2023 right after you filed your 2022 taxes she also mentioned that tax write-offs are not necessarily a good thing when you are wanting to purchase a home because you write off all of your income so that you don't have to pay so much in taxes but it doesn't look good to the mortgage lenders or brokers. So the more you write off in your taxes from your self-employment income, the harder it will be to purchase a home because they do not look at how much you wrote off. They look at how much you did not write off. So hopefully that makes sense. But y'all, I'm learning so much. So I'm just like, just, just a little nervous about that part. So since my business has been doing really well this year, I'm thinking I'm going to apply like January of 2023, right after I'm done with my taxes. So I'm going to make sure I have all of the information I need and someone on my side who knows what they're doing so that I can make this process as easy as possible for me. So next is retirement. It is receiving $500. One, two, three, four, and five. We are trying to reach that $6,000 goal for my Roth IRA. And it's a pretty difficult goal to reach when you have so many other goals. But we're going to do it, y'all. We are going to do it. So let's see how much my retirement or my Roth IRA has. One, two thousand. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand. So that's three thousand, fifty, seventy, ninety, and ninety-five. Three thousand and ninety-five dollars. So we still have a way to go, y'all. Like we need a a, a lot more <laughs> to reach that six thousand dollar goal before the end of the year. And I'm a little nervous about that as well. So we need $2,905. Ooh, okay. Next is student loans. It is receiving $60. So that's going to be a 50 and a 10 for 60. 
And this is just extra principal payments. Y'all know I am still in school. So nothing is due yet. Won't be due for a while. And y'all know I have a hate-hate relationship with these student loans. I'm happy that the $10,000 is being forgiven. But I still have like a lot more to go. And I am praying every day, every night for student loan forgiveness like in its entirety. I want it all gone. And that's just what it is. I don't want to pay these student loans. I just don't. Like it's becoming more of a burden <laughs> to me. It's It sucks. It really does suck. So student loans now has one two three four five six seven hundred seven twenty forty sixty eighty ninety eight hundred eight hundred dollars okay last is taylor budgets and it's receiving 20. okay so taylor budgets now has 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200. And um, if y'all did not know, I am going to Portland on Monday. Today is Thursday. I'm going to Portland from Monday to Wednesday to do a budgeting presentation at my boss's school. She owns an aesthetic school and she has a lot of students at that school who want to be business owners. And she said that it would be great if I come and teach them how to budget, the best way to go about starting a business, etc. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm so excited. It's just another opportunity to inform others about budgeting. And um, I'm excited, y'all. But I did ask my boss's daughter, who's a, an amazing photographer, if she can take some professional pictures for me because I do not have those and she said yes and she said it's two hundred and fifty dollars so I'm thinking that this money from Taylor budgets is gonna go towards that I just need to get fifty more dollars so this is why I love sinking funds because you have something like oh yeah it's gonna be 250 and then I'm like oh where is that gonna come out of it's gonna come out of this bad boy right here <laughs> so that is my high priority slash adulting sinking funds now we're going to move on to my low priority. And here are my low priority sinking funds. We are going to start with, not Amazon, that gets stuff with my bi-weekly paychecks. But we are going to start with Beauty. Beauty is receiving $80. That's going to be a 50 a 20 and a 10 50 70 80 And Beauty now has 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 7, 8, 99. Did I really do 99? Did I really do 99? Yes, I did. I couldn't put $81 in there. I just couldn't. <laughs> $99 in Beauty. Birthdays is receiving $200. Yes, it is. 51 50 200 why is it receiving $200 because today it is September 22nd October 8th I have my brother's birthday and October 16th I have my mother's birthday ta-da and it was just like back in August August I had two birthdays my best friend and my best friend's daughter and now October I have two birthdays again so I need to stuff that <laughs> $200. So birthdays now has 51, 52, 220, 230, 235, 36, 37, 38, and 239. So for my brother's birthday, we are going to a theme park. I think my mom said Universal. And then for her birthday, she hasn't mentioned what she wants to do. She usually just wants to spend time. <laughs> you know, she don't want anything. But she did say this year she wanted something. <laughs> so she just hasn't let me know what it is yet. So we'll see what it is when it comes. Christmas is receiving $10. This is just for Christmas decor and Christmas um, dinner. 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. 
I am saving $600 for Christmas gifts and that is a 2022 savings challenge. So you'll see that in my next video. Clothes is receiving $10 as well. And it's getting $15. I don't need to purchase any clothes for Portland. I did that already. I actually redeemed some Target gift cards uh, from Fetch. And I went to Target with Lauren. And I bought me like an outfit for my presentation when I get to Portland. And I bought me uh, two pairs of shoes. I bought Lauren two pairs of shoes and some fall clothes. So it was nice to go to Target and not spend your own money. It was it was a great feeling. So I'm just so thankful for Fetch. Thankful for all of you who have started Fetch with my code. Like it's just all around blessings over here, y'all. Electronics is receiving $80. This hasn't gotten stuff in a long time. 50, 20, and a 10. The reason why it's getting so much. 50 70 80 is because I need I don't need but I need want a new phone <laughs> and the reason why I need want a new phone is because my phone has been acting up um, probably because it's due for an upgrade and that's just what Verizon and I'm sure all of the other carriers do when it's time for an upgrade they just jack up your phone and I've had a few supporters say call them tell them that they're jacking up your phone and they'll stop but if I'm being completely honest with y'all, I want the iPhone 14. I do. I honestly do because they have one in purple now. It's my favorite color and I want it. I really, truly, truly want that phone. So I am going to get it. So I looked up on Verizon how much it's going to cost for me to do an upgrade with trading in my current phone. And it's going to be 200 a little tiny little bit over 200 like 205 so that's what we got here electronics 1 150 170 190 and 200 so we love sinking funds y'all we love it sinking funds are not only for needs they're for wants as well so fun money 52 dollars and remember i told you i already stuffed it in there and let's see let's look at my tracker so I stuffed the 52 from my August side hustle pay and it brought it to $150. And then we went to SeaWorld on the 17th of September, which was like five days ago, and I spent $8. So now there should be $142 in there. The reason why we only spent five, oh sorry, $8 is because we were there for two hours and then it rained out. So the only thing I purchased was Lauren's ice cream. So there should be 142, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 135, 140, 141, and 42. And I think this money is like sticky because it's it's still wet because of the rain. Like that's how bad it rained. I guess my backpack was a, was a type of material that the water from the rain just kind of seeped through the backpack and it got... All the stuff in there got wet, y'all. So this money is still a little wet, which is disgusting, but that's what it is. $142. So next is gifts, and it is receiving $10. And now gifts has $15. And then we have holidays next. Sorry, y'all. I got to make sure this money is straight or it's going to bother me. Holidays is receiving five. I honestly don't know which. Oh, it's Halloween, right? Halloween's up next. We don't really do anything for Halloween, so we're good on that. $20, $25, and $30 in holidays. So I guess the next holiday after um, Halloween is Thanksgiving. So yes, we definitely got to save up for that. Home Goods is receiving $20. And it has 50, 70, 90, 100. Lauren Bear is receiving $10. And this girl always has money in here. I was like, I don't spend money on her. 
I don't like I feel like I spend a lot of money on her but then I don't I don't know 50 70 80 90 100 110 115 16 17 and 118 and of course she has her gift cards in here Little bros, not getting anything. They have $40 in there. Miscellaneous, not receiving anything. It has $25. Self-care is receiving $20. I'm actually going to brunch with my best friend on Sunday. So I'm probably going to use this money for that. $50, $70, $90, and $100. That is plenty for brunch. Support smalls, not receiving anything. It has 25 in there. I am receiving $30. So that's going to be a 20 and a 10 for 30. And there's now 20, 40, and 50 in my envelope. And last is, oh no, I'm sorry. Not last, but therapy is not getting stuffed. It has $120. Uh, vacate is last, and it's getting $50. And y'all know I'm going to Portland, so I'm probably going to use this money for Portland. Just for spending money, since it is a business trip, my boss paid for the flight, the hotel, and she's taking me out to dinner the night that I get there. And also, um, lunch is provided the day that I present, and there's breakfast provided at the hotel. So, I'm pretty much covered. All I need to do is, like, if I decide to spend anything on myself, um, anything at the airport, of course. Um, I don't really need any travel items because I still have a lot from LA. So I don't think I'll need a lot of money, honestly. If I find something cute for Lauren, I'll probably get it for her. But other than that, I'm going to be there for two days, literally like two days. I leave on Monday, come back on Wednesday. It's like 48 hours exactly. So I don't think I'll have a lot of time to shop. You know what I'm saying? So 1, 200, 250, 300, 320, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. So that's $361 in vacay. And I'm, I'm sorry, $341 in vacay. $341. So, of course, I was doing a savings challenge, a $1,500 savings challenge for vacation. But since I'm going to be using some of that, these numbers will probably get crossed off. So let me go ahead though and cross off 50. One second. So we will just be starting this challenge over, which is fine. Uh, let me see what adds up to 50. I have 30 and a 20. There we go. For 50. And that is it for my low priority sinking funds. My high priority sinking funds. Next video is going to be my savings challenges, so stay tuned for that. But it is all done, y'all. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for sticking to the end. I, I believe I talked a lot, which is normal, so hopefully you enjoyed that. I love y'all. God bless y'all, and I'll see y'all in my next video. All right, bye.